Okay, now everything that we've made so far can also become a fill pattern, not just a stroke. So up here that we've been making these patterns, you know, I can go quickly in here and add these patterns to, let's say, a box like this. And you can see that. Notice, however, uh, if they are not made correctly, they won't tile correctly. So what I'm going to do is make a very nice intricate one here. And it's going to be the checkerboard pattern of your. So hold shift and make one single little box. And now notice this is 0 0.05. Okay, see it? How it says 0 0.05. And make sure that it has a fill of that. Okay, so now I'm going to use my effects palette under transform for several different uh, variations of transforms to make this. Okay, for same thing, I want six copies. And I want to be able to move this out randomly. And since that is point zero 0.05, I can know that this is going to be point 0.10. Okay. Handy. Yep. Okay, hit OK. Now, next thing what I want to do is now take this and do another transform. Apply a new one. Again, six copies. Preview. And this time I'm going to move this in 0.1 inches. Just like that. Good. And now I want to do it one more time. I want the effect. Transform, apply. This time, how do I do this? I don't know. Let's just play around with it. Uh, again, maybe I want six copies. Preview it. And I think it's like 0 0.05 and then 0 0.05. <laughs> And there we go. Now, the only problem with this is, look what it's done. It's like 0 0.05 out here, and then it keeps tiling over and over and over again, right? Okay, so let's kind of look at it a different way, maybe. Uh, let's make three copies, see if that works better. How about two copies? Does that work better? Okay, maybe one copy. Oh, one copy works. Even though it doesn't seem right in my brain, yeah, one copy does seem a little right now. Because you're just taking this and duplicating it over and moving it this way. All right, so just on that one object right there, I was able to do that. <laughs> now, now the fun stuff. Okay, of course I could make this into a pattern. Let's just do that now. I could define a pattern. And this is going to be checks. But it doesn't stop there. Let's say I take uh, something like a new window that I haven't explored yet and go to graphic styles. This is just going to maze the ever living poo out of you. So here I'm going to get rid of these graphic styles and delete them because I want a blank palette. And this graphic style is going to be clicked and dragged into here, and voila, it's now in here. So what is a graphic style? Well, let's take, for example, I take a really small, uh, insignificant, maybe polygon, hold shift and drag it out. And I can make it the same size, or I can just choose to do something a little bit different. But if I use this graphic style, Bam. <laughs> Isn't that sweet? That goes with anything. Anything. 
let's say, for instance, I had something up here that was pretty interesting, like um, this thing. I can make that into one. And here's how to, you can click on it and also click this button instead of clicking and dragging in. So now maybe I can click on this square and apply that to it. <laughs> yeah, I know. So powerful, right? All right, so that's it. I wanted to kind of show you that fill pattern because now what you can do is basically take, you know, maybe the whole overall little document. Let's say I started this way. I started, so this is out here. This little guy is just my my maker of the fills. So I'm just going to kind of move him over here. If you ever get this symbol, just go back a level. What you could basically do is go into the isolation group of it. So if I go into the isolation group by double clicking on it, I can adjust the path or the layer or anything for that matter and then go back out. So I can isolate what I'm editing. I guess a better idea of that is, you know, I guess that's the ideal setting. Is this one now I can adjust the path for this and maybe change the overall shape. Okay? So I don't want to do that. So here I got an eight and a half by 11 sheet of paper and I got a nice border around it. In the next video, I give you your assignment, what you need to do. All right, so enjoy and on to the next video.